Hi, I'm Dr. Kimball79, and I'm going to show you how to do a Mass Effect Jack-O-Lantern. Um, going to walk you through all the steps, and uh, with the right tools, anybody can pull this out. Takes a little bit of patience, but uh, but you can totally do this. Uh, what you need is a pumpkin first. Uh, try to get one that, for this particular pattern, um, a tall one is is ideal. So get a tall one with um, the ridges shouldn't be too deep. So get one with flat ridges and a flat side, ideally. One side just needs to be flat. If it has a bunch of scars on the back, that doesn't matter. All you need is one good side to do this. All right, um, the tools that you'll need for this are, uh, you need tape, you need a saw or knife to get the top off, a scraper to get the guts out, you'll need um, scissors, you'll need, uh, the pattern, obviously, printed out in the right size. I recommend printing it twice, so you have, uh, once you punctured a bunch of holes into this thing, and you got it off the pumpkin again, uh, it may not look too good. So for reference, I recommend you print it twice. You'll need a pin to puncture the holes. You'll need a linoleum cutting set. Um, don't bother buying an expensive wood carving set that's total overkill for a pumpkin. A linoleum cutting set does the job just fine, and they're like, I want to say five, maybe seven bucks. Um, if your uh, local craft store doesn't have them, I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. The next few things you don't need. It's not mandatory to pull this off, but it helps. Makes your life a little easier. Uh, a paper towel, a towel, and uh, a red or orange marker, and a scalpel or exacto knife. But again, that's optional. All right, and I'm going to walk you through all the steps. And we start by cutting out the pattern. Sometimes these guys can be really juicy, and it'll soak the pattern full of pumpkin juice. And uh, after the first few holes you puncture, you won't be able to see. Uh, won't be able to see anything. It just dissolves the pattern. So what you want to do is grab a paper towel and just cut the paper towel with the pattern. The more you cut off the less bending you'll have to do when you put it on and uh, there will be less distortion. You're going to have to do some folding and bending to get uh, to get this on here, uh, but you want to do the bending and folding where there is no detail. You want to do it here where the head is, uh, or maybe here, there's not a lot of detail. So that's where you want to do the folding. Or in, in uh, spaces that don't have anything, ideally, like the, the throat and stuff like that. As you can see, I have some distortions. I have here, here, I have a few more. Like, I try to spread them out so I don't have one big fold. A little fold here, a little fold there. Um, and that should, that should help with the distortion. Same here. This should help some. Can't really avoid it altogether, but oh well. Okay. Um, some people, by the way, like to gut the pumpkin before they do this. Um, doesn't really matter it's a matter of preference it's easier to handle to handle the pumpkin if he's a little lighter but uh, again that's preference all right and now you make a whole bunch of holes this is where the towel comes in make a little bed with the towel will make life a little easier there you go now you follow every line with the needle Do this on the outside of the lines because the white stuff is going to stay and if you puncture within the white stuff, especially narrow things like this, like you'll, you'll shave off a millimeter on this side and you'll shave off a millimeter on this side so it'll, it'll get too narrow. So puncture on the outside, that's where we'll, you'll be cutting. It doesn't have to get very deep. This is a guideline for you, so do as many or as few as you think you need. Uh, 
Uh, make sure you always get a hole in the corners. It'll make it easier for orientation. So you won't be, you won't have round corners because there was no hole there. You didn't know it. You had to really go in to make a corner. So make sure you have holes in the corners. Same here. You know where it ends. And I can already see this thing would be completely soaked without the paper towel already. You can see the juice coming through these holes already here. So yeah, I recommend using the paper towel. See, it's on the outside because the white stuff's gonna stay. And here, because this black stuff's gonna be cut out, I did it on the inside of the line. Again, never on the white side, always on the dark side. So this is the tricky part. I'm not gonna cut or, or put holes into every little detail here because it'll just be a bunch of holes and you won't know what uh, what to do with that. So. Um, I'm just gonna do a few guidelines, or I think it's probably even fine if you cheat and just make a few, make it like a barcode here. Uh, I'll try to stick to the original design as much as possible. I'm sure the makers of Mass Effect or whoever designed Jack won't be too angry if you uh, if you cheat a little bit here. Uh, I decided to add to add something to make this a little bit easier on top here, uh, since this whole line here will be cut out and this bottom line too. I figured if I just puncture a line and then later just connect or cut through from, from this line to this line, uh, it may be easier. Alright, so 20 minutes and uh, hand cramp later, you should be done with this part. Now let's take it off. So what some people do now is they wrap flour on the pumpkin so you can see the holes better. Um, it's really hard to see on cam now, but you, you can't see, you can't see all the holes. Uh, but what I do is I take a red marker and with help of the second stencil, I print it out. I'll just, I'll just uh, follow the lines. Again, this is not absolutely necessary. This is, this is not a mandatory step or required to pull this up, but it helps. In the past, I've cut stuff out that needed to stay and in order to avoid that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to save route now. So you don't want to use a black marker because once you cut it out, let's say, um, so you, you draw this line here, you draw it in black and you cut it out, the black will seep into the into the edge of the cut and it'll get, get a gray, nasty kind of color all, all around the edges, whereas orange or red it won't really show all that much. And now we start with the carving. Now I got this thing on my on my lap, so I can turn it and do with it what I can't do on the table. It would be annoying to move it around. So I, uh, you can try on the table. I prefer this part on my lap. I use the linoleum cutting set. In my case, it's a it's this little peg here, and I put the finest cutter first because we're gonna do all the outlines first. So we get the thinnest one and this is just my system. This comes in many different systems. Mine just has a uh, a bunch of blades that I can switch out. And you just push this in. Don't push too, too deep. I recommend having the having the pattern out so you can always take a look. Make sure you don't cut anything out that uh, that needs to stay. It's easier to cut towards the edge, so just cutting into an edge. I did this edge already, like this part of the edge, and now I'm going to approach it from the other side. Makes for much much nicer edges.
Okay, so I, I don't want to move the pumpkin around too much. So I, I, you see me cutting a little awkwardly sometimes. That's just so you don't get, you guys don't get seasick. Try to keep this as steady as possible. Um, but you have to be careful. You slip very easily with this thing. You know, to keep your orientation at this point, you either want to do the light stuff or the dark stuff. Now that you did the outlines, you can switch to a wider blade. This stuff has to be deeper, the rest. So yeah, do yourself a favor, don't be stupid. Like me, do the deep part first and then the top part. See, if it was the other way around, how easy this would be? I could just take this, this off and, and be done. <sighs> well, let's see if I can save it. What I'm doing now is to make this really pop, the stuff that uh, that stayed. I'm going to make the edges as sharp as possible. This is where I use the X-Acto knife now to smooth and stuff out and to sharpen edges some more. You can totally do this with the uh, with the linoleum cutting tools but uh, I think it's easier with the X-Acto knife. Okay, I'm gonna hose this off to get all these pieces of gunk out, and then I'm gonna gut it. Pretty sure I don't have to show that. And uh, then we'll see, we'll do a first test and see how she looks with the light. All right, this is the first test. I think um, she looks pretty good already. Uh, you can see that the top half of the head is a little darker than the, than the bottom one, so I'm gonna have to scrape a little, little more from the inside of the pumpkin, um, just the top. Uh, what else? There's some lines in the forehead. I'm gonna scrape those away with the X-Acto knife. And uh, well, one of the eyes is a little, uh, it's a little dark. I'm gonna, gonna go in there and dig a little, dig out a little bit of gunk, make it a little deeper, and uh, then I think she's she's good to go. Shouldn't be too much work. All right, I think I think that's it. Even despite the mistake I made, I think she turned out really really good. And that's all it takes to make a massive egg jack o' lantern. One thing I forgot to mention in the beginning is that a candle is probably not going to be bright enough to light this thing. So what you want to get is one of these LED lights. Um, don't get any of those Halloween uh, Halloween LED lights. They're way overpriced. Get one of these uh, at a hardware store or order them online. Um, they're ripping you off with the Halloween prices. So you get something that's much stronger for much less money. As you can see, looks pretty nice. Okay, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, you'll find this stencil uh, and others like uh, Portal 2, Hack and Slash, or was it Misery, and some others on my Tumblr. The link is in the description box, and uh, yeah, I, I'd love to see uh, images and photos if you, if you try this yourself. Uh, you can tweet it at me at drkimball79, and um, rate the video, leave comments. Um, I hope you enjoy it.